Hi everyone, I'm Darren. And I'm Jihan. And welcome to the City of Joint Up Libraries Chop Chop Stories. Here we'll be telling mysterious, mesmerizing, and magical stories in a very unusual way. That's right, we are going to share in the storytelling. I will say one line, Darren will say the next, and who knows where the story will go. And to give it an extra flick of the magical wand, we'll have three weekly words that we have to use in our story. Say, Darren, there's something different about you today. Oh, do you perhaps need my wondrous wizard hat or my extra special magic wand? No, that's not it. Did you have a new haircut? Hmm. Okay then, why don't I show you a quick trick and magic my wondrous wizard hat from my head to yours? Oh cool Darren, do it! Okay, let's do some magic! A wibbledy weddity, my hat to your headity! Wow, that's amazing! I think it looks better on me than it does on you. Hmm. Well, in that case, wibbledy wackity, hat come backity! Sad Jihan, don't you have a story to read out that someone sent in to us? Oh, that's right, Darren. Last episode's three weekly words were stomp, volcano, and kitchen. And we have a story here written by Ben. And with a little magic of my own, here it is. Now, Ben's story goes something like this My dad is really tall, he has big feet that stomp when he walks, and when we run around the house, he makes everything shake. One time, Mom told us not to run around the kitchen, but we did, and Dad fell into the table, breaking it. Oh no! I think if he jumped down really hard, he could make a volcano! The end. Excellent story, Ben! Your dad sounds as big as a dinosaur. Now, if anyone uses this week's three weekly words to write a story, email them to us, and they might be read out next time. Now, I think it's time for this week's prescribed portion of prejustigitation. Huh? Drawing the weekly words from the magical story hat. Oh, that's why Olive the Owl is here. To help pick up this episode's three weekly words and to deliver this magical story hat. Olive? Would you like to help me pick the three weekly words from the Magical Story Hat? Here you go. One more try. Oh, that's a bit tricky, isn't it, Olive? I think it's because owls sleep during the day and only wake up at night. I'll help, Olive. So the three weekly words are... Crystal. Please? And yellow! Ooh! Crystal, please, and yellow. Let's see what type of story you can tell using these magic -y sounding words. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a fluffy white mouse named Timothy, and he lived in the tall, tall tower of a mighty wizard. Each night, Timothy the mouse would scurry out of his little hole in the wall and explore the tower. He would slide down the slippery, sloping banisters and go spiring down the stairs until he skidded right down to the bottom. He would creep into the kitchens to collect cookie crumbs from the counters. But mostly, Timothy would go adventuring. He would pick one of the many mystical doors and explore the wonders that lay beyond. Timothy had found rooms full of bubbling cauldrons and twisting tubes brewing up magical potions in all sorts of colours. One room was full of windows that looked out across the world. From frozen forests to sweltering wastelands, Timothy could see every landscape imaginable. This particular night, Timothy came across a brown wooden door engraved with a yellow crescent moon. Squeezing under the door, Timothy emerged into a very dark room. In the dark room was a round table, and on the round table was a crystal ball. 
Excitedly, Timothy scurried across the room and scampered up one of the table legs, eager to get his hands on the crystal ball. But as he stood on the table, with his hands reaching out to touch the crystal ball, a big grey owl landed on it, with a swoosh of the feather and a whoosh of the wind. There it was. The owl stared at Timothy with big round eyes. Hoot! I am the owl of a mighty wizard. You may not touch the crystal ball unless you say the magic word. Timothy rather rudely said, Bottom is the magic word. Now get off and let me play with my crystal ball. The owl's eyes narrowed. That was not very nice. You may not play with the crystal ball unless you say the magic word. Timothy was getting upset because he didn't know any magical words. The magic word is go away. No, that is not the magic word. And you only have one more guess before you have to leave this room. What's wrong? Have you ever been taught the magic word before? And then Timothy remembered something that his mum used to tell him. When you're asking something from someone else, you should say, Please! Please may I touch the crystal ball? said Timothy. Very good! said the owl. Please is the magic word you should always use when asking for something. Now come up here to the crystal ball and I'll show you some of the magics I learnt from the mighty wizard. And Timothy spent the night with his new friend the owl and learned the magic of the word please. The end. Wow, wasn't that a magnificent magical story? I know I always try to remember to say please when I'm asking for something. Now if anyone else wants to write a story using this episode's three weekly words, send them through to us and we might read it in the next episode. Okay, I think that's about all we've got time for today here at Chop Chop Stories. A big magical thank you to Ben for sending in his amazing story. And another big thank you to Olive the Owl for delivering the magical story hat and helping me pick the three weekly words. So we'll see you next time for some new weekly words. Some new awesome and amazing stories and a new special guest to choose from the magic story hat. Bye everyone! Bye!